Ian, it's um, Derby Day. It's the first cup match. It's the first competitive match uh, this Saturday. Um, is it a game that you're looking forward to? Yeah, immensely. Uh, it's a it's a fantastic opening to the season. Being at home, I'm really thankful that we're at home because I'm looking forward to getting back on our pitch. We've always said we like it here. Uh, so yeah, boys have trained really well this week. We know it's at stake. We know it's a fantastic opportunity, first and foremost, to start the league, uh, the league Cup off with a, a positive result, which gives you a platform for the future games. And you couldn't start with any bigger a game than a Fife derby against our old rivals, Dunfermline. Dunfermline Athletic. Yes, yeah, certainly not. It's uh, you know you add that into to the occasion as well, and it makes for a, a good afternoon. I'm sure there'll be a good crowd in here, plenty of noise from both sets of supporters, both desperate to win the game, be that supporters or players and staff. So, you know, we've got to try and put a stamp on um, our home form to start the season. Get one over your local rivals as well is always nice, regardless of, of where you're from and what you've been involved in the, in previous years. Yeah, and also of course the live TV aspect adds another edge to it. You know, it's a case, it's a chance for the, the players to showcase their talents, show show the country what they can do. Yeah, it is. It's, it's it's just a good occasion all, all, all the way around it in terms of the game, and then obviously adding the the television coverage. It's an opportunity for players individually to show how good they are to to people that sometimes perhaps wouldn't see them. It's an opportunity for us as a team to to show people what we're trying to do and, and where we are in terms of our progress and, and how good we can be. But you know, it's a pressure situation for everybody with all those elements added into the game. But we have to be be stronger than that. You know, overcome them, go and enjoy the game, and you tend to find you only enjoy things when they go your way. Looking back at the pre-season results, you know, the friendlies and the Fife Cup tie, you know, there's been some good football played, we've scored some goals, defence has looked sound. Um, is, it, is it a temptation to go into this derby match thinking that everything's perfect and nothing will go wrong? <laughs> or do you always have in the back of your mind a wee bit of doubt? Certainly not. It's, it's not really in my head, but of course we'd love it to go. Uh, according to plan but football throws up so many twists and turns throughout the afternoon uh, it's very very difficult we've had a good pre-season I've been really happy with it m m most pleasing aspect is the situations that we found ourselves in in terms of we went to a junior pitch on a really sticky pitch uh, junior team sorry on a really sticky pitch and a really narrow pitch and, and done well we then went up to a really good league one team um, and played ex exceedingly well that night and then we had 2-1 down at Kelty and our mindset at half time was you know if this was a Scottish Cup game for example you're 2-1 down at a a hard place to go and how do you get back into the game and, and we've done really well and then last week against these five you're nil nil against a team that's you know sitting in the game and you know, nothing, nothing wrong with that at all and we had to find ways of overcoming that as well so it's thrown up lots of problems for us in terms of how do we work them out we've managed to solve them during during the games as well which is great it keeps the players on the toes it keeps the staff on their toes and um, but Saturday is a different ball game yeah and obviously a positive aspect of the preseason game so far is the the attacking dimensions that we've had you know the the combinations between i mean jamie gunn louis vaughan josh mullen has, has been involved you must be licking your lips at seeing them up against a really tough championship team Ab absolutely you know and we're, we've been missing quite a few players in the pre-season as well so there's still a lot of quality players to come in um you know we've got to get jack involved as much as we can we're still waiting on aiden conley and, and scott browns of the worlds to to get to get on the pitch as well but when i look at you know lewis and, and jamie they're, they're link up play together their understanding is is fantastic Lewis has been looking great all pre-season it was something I've been waiting on because last season it was stop start when I had to wait on Lewis coming back from his, his injury then Hammer was in and out the team a little bit with injuries and I was dying to get them together because I think you know Hammer's had a, a little bit in his career where he's been moved about a lot I, I really like him as a striker I love Lewis Fawn's quality and the way he thinks about his finishing and then as you say if you add in Josh Mullen Dylan Easton Calum Smith you've still got Sam Stanton as well who's always played further back at the moment Due to, due to personnel, but we've got some really good footballers, really dynamic footballers and positive players. And at the other end of the pitch, it must be really comforting to see that uh, Big Kevin's taken on the mantle of previous, you know, dominant Rovers goalies and, and really looks the part between the sticks, doesn't he? He does, yeah. He needs to play a lot of games to, you know, to, to cement a career in football. Uh, he's a live wire, he's bubbly, he's a really good guy to have around because he'll always keep you going when things are down. The, big, the biggest thing is if a goalkeeper stop the ball in the net, obviously, so there's going to be moments in games where things are, are maybe not, not right and there's mistakes happen and unfortunately for goalkeepers, when they make a mistake, it tends to be a goal, but if we can get Kevin into a consistent um, you know, performances and consistent in his mind, then we've got an excellent goalie. He's, he's got all the attributes to be a top goalkeeper. Yeah. And finally, we, we always make a mention, but 
uh, Saturday's game is going gonna, gonna to have a different aspect from the support in that you're going to have the singing section on the far side there, quite close to the, the way supporters. It's important that those guys and the entire Rovers support get behind the boys right from the off. Absolutely, and, and they do. They do pretty much every single week. I think we just have to look back to last season's Scottish Cup win here against Motherwell uh, at the end of the game where the, the place was was bouncing. Um, we want that again. Um, we know that's what football is about. That's what derbies and rivalries are all about. We ain't going to get carried away if we win the game, that's for sure, because we know it's a long, hard season with a lot of work to do. And equally, if we don't win the game, we're not going to be too down about it again. We'll just work hard all the time, stay humble and, and see where we are. Sounds good to me. Thanks for that and good luck. Thank you.